Yes, welcome back to Punchestown. Uh, we're delighted to be here at uh, Giant at Punchestown this afternoon by the transition year to fourth year students from uh, Castle Island Community College, County Kerry, for the from the Fall to Race transition year program that's jointly been organised by Agri Aware and Equip of uh, Horse Racing Ireland. Delighted to be joined by Elaine Burke and Marcus O'Hanlon from respected uh, bodies. But firstly, uh, Elaine, this is tell us a little bit about more about this. Um, so yeah, the Equip Department, we are responsible for the industry education, training and people welfare um, and a big part of what we do is attracting new people into the industry. Um, so we felt uh, we needed to target our younger generation, um, so we jointly uh, created a Fool to Race. It's a, a program for transition year students um, that details all the way from when a foal was born to the day it races on the track. Um, and in there we even highlight you know, some careers. Um, and it's a touch point, even if we can get people to to come racing, uh, to bring their family racing and, and maybe even start a career within the industry. Um, we have 4,000 students signed up for it. It was a pilot program, uh, 100 and, nearly 140 schools. So it's been a really big success and it shows that there is a, a passion there and, a, and an interest in our industry from, from our young people coming up. And of course, some people watching at home, especially across the water, wouldn't understand what uh, transition year students are. I have a daughter in transition year as well. It's, it's basically career guidance, isn't it, to yeah. try and get out and look at different aspects of every sort of industry just to give you some idea of what yeah. you might like to do when you finish your exams at leaving cert level. Exactly, it's, it's nearly that gap year before you go into those final two years of, of where you make your choice and what career you want to go in so we're trying to give them that touch point, show our industry, show what we have to offer um, and it's been a, a real success um, and today is showing that and we're, we're giving the students here today a, an insight of a day of racing in Punchestown. And of course Elaine, you had equip of course for Racing Ireland have joined up with Marcus O'Halloran, of course. Marcus, you're very welcome, Managing Director of Agri Aware. Tell us, so the people don't know about what is Agri Aware. Thanks, Kevin. So, Agri Aware is a charitable organisation founded in 1996. We're set up to communicate uh, agriculture to the non farming public. So, we do a lot of that through communication campaigns. Uh, we primarily target our schools as well. Uh, this year, we would have 120,000 kids that would be taking part in agri educational programmes uh, with ourselves. Uh, and other than that, then we would, you know, we would we would run communication campaigns to the public that would specifically target the non-farming audience. So, you know, we're, we're looking at those decision makers in, in houses who are, who are making the food purchasing decisions. We're looking at targeting them with the information, the facts on how agriculture or how our food is produced. Uh, and, you know, complementing all of that is, is running programs like this to expand the, the knowledge of the wider agricultural industry on what, you know, we see the equine industry as a large part of the agricultural industry and the agricultural industry is, you know, it's, it, it feeds into that too. So teaming up with HRI and Equip for this, it, it was a no-brainer for us and, and we're delighted to be part of the module. And it's great to get involved with the transition year students as well. As I said to Elaine, a lot of the... When you're that age, you haven't a clue what you want to do. When you yeah. do leave school, it's only, what, three years away from completing your leaving cert and deciding then, do I want to go down the apprenticeship route, do I want to go to college or whatever else? Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, modules like this will open up the, the idea that, you know, horse racing, for a lot of people, they see the jockeys on the telly, they see the trainers, but they don't actually see all the other different facets of the industry. And, and modules like this actually allow uh, the students to understand that, you know, the industry is so broad. But leading on from that, even, you know, that they might get some experience in this industry, it could open up the whole agricultural sector to them as a result of that. So, you know, it's very important that we have we have modules like this available to students. And of course, both, both uh, industries, the agricultural industry and the equine industry, Industry, they're so entwined with each other, aren't they? Oh, completely. Look at you. You look around here today. There's food. There's drink. There's you know the, the horses are here. There's there's farmers that are involved in making hay for those to keep them going throughout the year. It's they're totally interlinked. And and uh, look at as we said, it's it's important that we showcase the the intertwines of of those. Great stuff. And Elaine, when did this idea develop? I suppose it's been something we've been thinking about uh, in Horse Racing Ireland for quite some time now. Um, but I suppose our partnership with Agri Aware uh, in the last 18 months was the start of it. We, uh, I suppose, started last winter, uh, put it together pretty quickly because we had the information in Horse Racing Ireland. Agri Aware had the expertise in the educational side and it all came together and we launched it to schools last January. Um, and as I said, we were just overwhelmed with the amount of schools that have taken part in it um, and it's showing that there, there is there is grow and an interest in our industry out there in our youth. We need to sustain our industry and our people are, are what sustain, will sustain it into the future. So we need to keep bringing that new talent. Um, and we also want to break down that barrier that you don't need to come 
come from a racing background to join the industry. We're open, we're here, um, and if you look at our website, it has all the details. It's even got a parent-teacher page, um, and any teachers that wish to sign up, contact either ourselves or AgriAware. Um, we'd be delighted to have you for next year's programme. And of course, we've got some of the guys from uh, the uh, Castle Island Community College as well, transition year. Ladies, how have you enjoyed it? And tell us your experience of it. Kerry, we'll start with you first. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. We learnt a lot and it was very interesting and stuff. And Miriam, you've had a behind the scenes tour of Punchestown here this afternoon. Tell us what that's entailed. Um, well, it gave us more of like an insight to the race course because like a lot of us haven't really been to one before. Like we wouldn't be interested. So doing the course, like it kind of showed us what it was really like in the day. And Vicky, you got to meet the likes of Rachel Blackmore, you got a walk of the course as well, Paul Nolan, one of our leading trainers, showed you how to saddle a horse on race day also. Um, yeah, I thought that was really interesting and like inf informative in like a completely different way to a lot of the stuff we've done this year so far because because like especially in the beginning of the year because of COVID and things like that and we didn't get out and doing things like in person like on the place I thought was really good and nice. Good yeah. stuff. And Sean, a, a VIP trip to one of the biggest race courses, not just in Ireland, but in uh, in England as well, must be fantastic for you. And have you really enjoyed the, your experience? Yeah, I've loved the experience, walking around and getting VIP tour. And it's good to, uh, a good last trip for TY, so yeah. Good stuff. Good. And have any of you an interest? Are you hooked on the racing or agricultural business now? Is it some one of the industries you'd like to get into when you do finish school? Yeah, well, yeah. it's really like sparked an interest in us because like we don't really learn about this normally, like in TY. So doing this program, it kind of helped us to see what it's like. And are any from a racing or farming background? No, but no, <laughs> <laughs> no. And going forward, you look like you. Well, hopefully, you're going to get involved in some aspect of either industry. Um. Yeah. Maybe. Good stuff. <laughs> well, you've enjoyed your day here this afternoon. Yeah. Great stuff. It's been a fantastic day. Thanks for having a chat with us. Elaine, Marcus, May, thanks for coming along as well It's uh, and explaining in detail all about uh, the uh, process and uh, continued success with it. Thank you. Thank you.